In today's video, we're taking a look at the all new stack from HGLRC. Now this is called the HGLRC Forward 55 Amp ESC. Now this is a 3 to 6 S BL Heli 32 ESC. Not only that, if we flip it over, we're rocking F3 microcontroller units. And if you look at it and you think, oh, why does it look so disgusting? Well, this is actually conformal coating in order for it to be water resistant in case you get some water on the board. And that's what we see here, which is really nice. However, it's only done to one side. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on landing into wet grass. Now, if we grab a closer look, we do see we have a shunt resistor for current reading, which is really great. And they're doing the double board layout here. So the main board where the power delivery would be is on a separate PCB and then they bring the brains of the operation on a separate board and just melt them together. Now there's two reasons why they might do this. One reason is when they send it out to the manufacturer, they just send them the backboard which anybody could make and they keep the logic part to themselves and have it done somewhere else. So that's one reason they do that. Another reason which is actually very useful and we might start to see these more often is the power delivery. And you are like, well, what the hell does that mean? Well, what this allow you to do, especially if you have the logic on a separate board is it will keep fatter traces or just think of them as wires, bigger wires to carry more current down to the motors and have the logic be on a completely separate board and this way you just have more current flow with, with less resistance so it does have its benefits here and this is really great to see and so far they've been proving themselves to be very reliable in the field from iFlight has been doing this and some other ones have done this as well so this is something really great to see here. And also don't forget one of its main features that it's rocking the F3 microcontroller units, which is the latest and greatest in current ESC technology in our current hobby. Now, if we take a closer look for filtration, which means capacitors, the more capacitors you have, the more filtration you have, the better off usually you are. Here, it's very minimal, but I could kind of understand because there isn't much space to put any more here, and we don't have that much filtration. We have two here and just a couple around this area, this area right there and right there, and that's about it. However, in the packaging, they do provide you with the low ESR capacitor, and this is a really good low ESR capacitor that I have tested, and you'd wanna install this when you install your XT60. So if you didn't know how this would be installed, you're gonna to wanna to take your black wire, and you'll find the minus, that would be installed right here, positive, would be installed right there. Next, you want to grab your XT60 right here. Now you have to know which side is positive or negative or else you'll burn this right away. And the way to know that is you will see right there a little positive sign and a little minus sign. So the plus sign will go to the red here and the minus is gonna go to the black and you should be good to go. However, when that's all set and done, you're gonna wanna bring this in. And what's really nice, they've added this heat shrink to let you know which side is which. But let's just say you didn't have the heat shrink here. What you wanna look for is this gold line right here, wherever it has this little stripe, that's always the minus or the black or the ground. So you can see that it's the ground side and this is the positive side. And you're gonna wanna install this along with your battery wires right here and you must install this or else you have a high probability of burning this ESC, especially if you're running 6S voltage or even 4S, please install the low ESR capacitor. Now they do also provide you with a connector which you can cut up and solder to wherever you need. But not only that, if we do flip it over, we see that all our pads are broken out right here. Now I really like this for a couple reasons here. They've also added a extra pad right here which gives you battery voltage. So for example, if your flight controller takes battery voltage, then the red wire would be connected right here to your flight controller. However, if your flight controller only takes five volts and you put your red wire here to give it the power, you will burn it immediately. So keep that in mind and be careful with that. So this VIN wire will only go to flight controllers that take battery voltage. That's the only thing you could do with this. Next we have ground, which would be black wire going to your flight controller. Then we have motors one, two, three, and four. And after that, we have the current reading. So it's a dedicated line for current reading. And the last pad right here is TX for the ESC telemetry. So you'll be able to use, for example, RPM filtering, get the RPM of the motors. You can get all kinds of information uh, from that telemetry pad, which is really nice to have here. So some other things they do provide you with are rubber dampeners and some nylon standoffs. The rubber dampeners would go inside the hole here and just have it not vibrate as much. Not that it matters, but it's a really nice little addition that they've done here. 
However, I do wish they've added a heatsink because you have all this real estate that are, even a cheap little tiny heatsink would have been really great to add on this, uh, but they didn't go that route. But overall, you're using pretty big fets, so this thing should be able to handle in the field. But then again, you must add this capacitor no matter what. So keep that in mind and just be very thoughtful when installing this and don't get lazy and well that's gonna include it for this video guys this is a sub 50 dollar esc it's linked down below come join my patreon where i give all this stuff out free of charge and i do tons and tons of giveaways especially for new patrons if i had like one or two there'll be a premium giveaway between those two for every dollar you put in you get your name in the draw and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys